What's up, guys? It is me, Grace Hudson, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hit the welcome to the channel. If you are new, scratch that welcome back. Period. Today is another story time. I'm so excited, y'all, because this one is so funny to me. By the time you guys, can, by the time you guys can see, I got caught up on my own close friends, and honestly, I kind of feel like a little bad, but not too crazy because honestly, I feel like I delivered the situation and I. You, I just handled it better than he did. I don't feel bad because the way he came to me, y'all, uh, people just extra. So this story time consists of, I think I call him Boomerang. If I didn't call him Boomerang, I'm going to link this video. This video is, it's a backstory behind this video. And that, that video is about me getting extra drunk on my ex-boyfriend's birthday. So go click that video and then you'll know who this person is and what happened. Let's just do a little backstory. So boom, we had a fallout or whatever. I can't remember what we was arguing about. Oh, I know what's going on. He started being inconsistent. So there's also another story time about he ghosted me. So this goes in all that will be linked in the description. So just go catch up, period. He started being inconsistent. So me being me, I'm the type of person where I just feel like don't introduce me to something you can't keep up with or something that is not you. Like, do not try to impress me with things that I like and that's not something you do. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're just not that person, you're just not that person. But we had took a break, we broke up or whatever. And <laughs> you know, everybody does this thing when they take a break. Everybody, you know, we be outside, we back in the street. So at this time, shoot, I was back in the street, baby. I guess, you know what I'm saying? While I'm in the streets, I've seen a little, yeah, yeah, walk by on the curb. So I'm like, okay, like, I like being outside a little bit. It's kind of fun. <laughs> God, I'm gonna name him Lucas. We gonna name him Lucas. Again, disclaimer, that is not his real name, y'all, okay? I ended up meeting me and Lucas, but Lucas knew my homeboy who I call my brother. So I really met him by dealing with my brother or whatever. So when I first seen Lucas, you know what I'm saying? You know, you see somebody there attractive, you're like, okay, he's kind of cute. You know what I'm saying? So boom, I think we both kind of caught on to that. Like, I'm not gonna lie, me and, me and Lucas, like y'all we got a mental connection out this world so it was kind of like it before it was physical like the physical attraction was just that was there like it was straight there but that mental connection like sealed the deal like you know how you be connecting to people the only reason me and lucas did not make it is because lucas is crazy <laughs> lucas is crazy and lucas hit it off but we wasn't like i me when i'm dealing when i'm in the streets i'm just in the streets i'm not looking for no ties and none of that because i know eventually if this person come back i'm gonna probably go on back to my man my man my man my man so i'm just in the streets you know just chilling like just chilling so we never got into anything we was never nothing that's the crazy part keep that in mind y'all we were never nothing we was never nothing nah oh okay we started chilling at my brother's house or whatever so we would chill over there often like often like we would go over there all the time so we just was chilling 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 talking 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 we used to be calling our stuff like we was like this little click it was me my brother my best friend and lucas all like we was just in there just talking about ideas like everything we were just talking about everything that made sense like it wasn't no mediocre conversation we were talking about real life real estate content create like we was talking about everything so it, the it's just crazy. And Lucas, of course, started drifting off from the click a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we started drifting off and we started having a long time. So, one day, Lucas ended up, um, I don't know how Lucas ended up getting my number. I can't remember. Either my brother gave it to him or I gave it to him. I can't remember. But he ended up getting my number. He was like, you, um, you coming outside today? Because Lucas stayed in my neighborhood. So, he was like, you coming outside today? So, I'm like, yeah. On his end, yeah, I guess we just gonna go chill at my brother's house. So he like, okay, he was like, but before you go outside, come get in my car, let's chop it up. So y'all, we in a car. I'm talking about talking for hours, y'all. I'm just like, oh my god, like I like him. I'm like, okay, Lucas, you know when you first meet somebody and you got the little butterflies up in there, you know what I'm saying, twisting knots and stuff in your stomach, and you just like. I like this. I'm trying to keep this going for a little meaning. I ain't trying to have no interruptions, no bad energy. Let's just keep it here, Lucas. But we couldn't seem to stay there, not could we? So, boom. We ended up hitting it off or whatever, but we, like I said, we never got into nothing. I let it be known. Like, we had, in that conversation, we were sitting in the car. He was just like, you know, got out of a situation. Uh, I can't remember. Some, some girl he was dating broke his heart. 
you know you know the stories girl broke my heart don't really do the love thing i do like you though like i really do like like we both liked each other but we just knew like we were dealing with separate situations so it was just like no but the thing about it is lucas like after this situation lucas actually ended up changing his mind he was like bro you made me change my mind on relationships i want to be with you it was cute though back to what we were saying let it be known you know i was dealing with somebody so that's cool like we don't have to we don't have to do that we could just you know do do whatever we're doing right now like i was he was the first dude ever i was ever okay to be doing what we doing right now because it was literally nothing like we didn't have sex like it was the mental connection that i loved the most about him like and that was the insane connection that i had i didn't have to worry about the physical because i, I ain't gonna lie i was getting to the physical because the mental had me that's another that's another topic it's something about a guy being able to mentally keep me intrigued for months to me that's insane because baby guys cannot have the conversation I, too many people be texting what you doing five minutes apart that's just too much for me like it's just we just not getting nowhere let's just stop texting don't like that for you we both made it clear that we didn't want to be with each other well not like be with each other but be in a relationship or whatever the case may be and we just made it clear so you know he was asking about the guy that i was talking to so i was i clearly let it be known one thing about me i am not a liar i will not lie to you about anything any guy anything if you ask you gonna receive so be mindful of what you ask for because i'm going to deliver exactly what you asking me for so i would just let him know like yeah you know we broken up but you know we still talk every now and then we do the woo so me and boomerang on the other side we texting every now and then before we broke up i planned a whole surprise birthday party me and his sister or whatever and i was because he was in a different city so i was gonna drive and um go up there of course and spend a weekend but i had already got the rental i had got the the um hotel i had got everything because i he didn't spend anything for that birthday like when i tell y'all balled out for that nigga balled out for that nigga and he didn't i had already paid for everything so i'm just like freak like i can't get none of my money back like it was literally like a week before his birthday i can't get none of my money back so we ended up having a conversation lucas now let me this is how this went with lucas okay boom so why i'm just sitting there like i don't know what i'm gonna do y'all just do what y'all do lucas over here messing it up he i can't remember he ended up getting mad about something and my brother and oh this is what happened my so i went to my brother and i was just like okay so you know how do you feel about lucas because i started feeling him a little bit to change my mind because i'm kind of like hold on because i kind of like him so i went and i asked my brother for advice and you know one thing about the, listen do not ignore what your brother say about one of his homeboys okay i'm never the type like because my brothers they don't hate if they homeboys is good for me they gonna tell me yeah all systems go by all means necessary do your thing but if my brothers feel like they not it that's just not it for you i know you that's a bad selection my brothers is real they not gonna have me out here because my brothers know i'll be ready to, you know what i'm saying <laughs> i he was like he like he a cool dude and I was like, okay. So I'm thinking he finna say positive, negative. He like, he cool, but don't put all your eggs in one basket. Like how you out here doing you, you know what I'm saying? He doing him. And that just simple as that. He ain't really put him out there. But at the end of the day, I'm his sister. That's his homeboy. He ain't saying no, but he is saying, I don't want to see you get hurt at the same time. So don't put your eggs all in one basket. So in my head, I'm like, oh, so... You dealing with a world full of females. Cool. Got that. Me, I'm the type of female where if I'm dealing with you, it's crazy. People be calling this a toxic trait, but maybe it is a toxic trait. Dang. Never thought about it. I don't want you dealing with nobody else. That is so selfish. That's just what it is. You cannot deal with nobody when you dealing with me. Like, uh-uh. Then I can't say that because it's like I'm still texting Boomerang at the same time every now and then. So it's kind of like... How can you say that when you're doing YouTube, sis? So, and that is very selfish. And we need to grow up. If we don't want him doing that, then you got to stop doing that. It's, it really just be simple. If you don't, if, and I listen to, if, if you making me cut mine off, you better get to cut yours off. Chop a style, baby. Chop, chop, chop a style. So, Boomerang ended up texting me. Man, ended up having a conversation. His sister ended up persuading me to come. So, before I left, I was like, my brother, I'm like, yeah, I'm about to go out of town. Ooh, ooh. So, Lucas overheard it. He's like, oh, okay, so where you going? So, I'm like, you know, I'm going to such and such, such or whatever. So, he was like, oh, what you going there for? He asked the question. He knew 
that boomerang stayed there. So he already know it's only one reason I'm going there. That was the only reason I was going back and forth there anyway, because he stayed there. So Luke was like, oh, what you going for? So I kind of gave him the side eye like, nigga, you know what I'm going for. So I was like, oh, birthday party. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't lie. It was a birthday party. But if you're going to be sarcastic, I'm going to be sarcastic back because you know what I'm going for. He was like, mm, okay, you know, let me know when you get there because I was leaving the next day or whatever. So, boom, pack my stuff, end up going, you know, y'all know the story. I'm going to leave it. It's in the description of what happened. I got way too drunk. That was the drunkest I ever got in my life. <laughs> on my close friends. Okay, my brother is on my close friends. I'm going to tell y'all the backstory of how Lucas ended up finding out, but I'm going to tell you what was on the close friends. So, on the close friends, it was just me in the bed with um, Boomerang because I had posted and I was like, shout out to him because if it wasn't for him, where i would be from last night like i was so so up like and it was his birthday that was the crazy thing i think that was the funniest part like it was literally his birthday and i'm just the drunkest so i'm like you know just regular posting up on close friends i'm not gonna post it on a regular page because me and boomerang was not together like we didn't make it known that we was back together i'm not gonna go post on my public page baby uh -uh. oh so my brother of course on the close friends so he was it was crazy he was the first person to see it usually my brother my brother usually is the first person to look on my close friends like he's usually the first person because he be always on his phone because he got a business I ain't gonna tell you all the business he got but he got a business so he always on instagram so anyway i just didn't you know didn't pay no attention so i end up getting home or whatever and i end up going to my brother's house boom goes to my brother's house and lucas is there so lucas just looking around or whatever and the whole time he just shading me but i'm not even i'm not even recognizing his shade i'm just thinking he's just talking y'all so lucas is like mm, you had fun out of town so i'm like yeah yeah i met a whole bunch of people yeah i had fun i went bowling you know what i'm saying i had a lot of fun so he was like i bet you had fun so my brother like come on lucas like come on now. i was like stuff just be i ain't gonna curse he was like stuff just be lame for real and i look i'm like you know because i'm on the outside at this point looking and i'm like what's What's tea? Like, what's going on with y'all? So I'm like, what's wrong with y'all? So he's like, ain't nothing wrong with us. So he got up and he left out. So I'm like, who pissed in his cereal, baby? Because my brother was like, bro, I got to tell you something. And I'm like, what? What's going on? Speed it up. All this slow talking. Come on. So he was like, man. He was like, something ended up happening to his phone. So I let him get my second phone that I do business on. He said, I didn't log out my Instagram, bro. And your close friends came up when you were sitting. <laughs> He clicked the close friends post when you and Boomerang was in the bed. And I was like, oh, Lord. Like, oh, Lord. I'm like, at, so I felt bad because it was just like, darn, like, darn, 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 like, darn, but darn. Like, <laughs> nothing else I can say but just darn. Darn. But I didn't feel bad at the same time either because at the end of the day, I kept it a hundred. I kept it, I keep it hundred with every, I am real with everybody. I let you know who this person was, what was going on, where we stood, we were still communicating. Like you knew that. You knew that. And that picture could have been. Oh, but anyway, he knew it was no though. So I was like, why you ain't say nothing? Why you ain't text me? He was like, cause that man still had my phone, so I couldn't say nothing or whatever. He said, I did get on that nigga though, cause it's like, you know, don't be going through, go, don't go through on my Instagram, going through people's stuff. They gonna make me seem like, I'm telling you what she got going on. Like you making me seem as if I'm snitching or whatever. I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. Nah, I'm gonna have to go talk to the nigga about it. Cause it's like, we all know now. And plus you were shaking me, so now I'm really finna be like, you was doing too much. Like, you was OD and doing entirely too much. You ain't had to say all of that. Like, you ain't had to do too much. I texted him. I got home and I texted him and I was like, so you want to talk about it or you want to beat around the bush or what's up? So he was like, oh, nah, you straight, you good. You really lame for that. Like, you could have told me that's what you was going up day for. You really lied. You lame, you lame. I was like, well, how did I lie? So he was like, who said you was going up day for a birthday party? I said, and don't he stay up there too? I said, I don't know nobody up there and you knew that. So you knew the only person I was obviously going up there to see was him. So he was like, nah, that's lame. If you was just, if you was still messing with buddy, you should have just let me alone. I said, well, hold up, hold up. You can't get mad because you out here doing you too. That's not the point. That's not the point, baby. You out here doing you. So you expect me not to do me while you out here doing you. I said, and plus you didn't even want a relationship. We're not together. Like, I don't really too much see how you mad when you don't want a relationship. You don't want a relationship, but you don't want me talking to other people neither. That's, that's insane to me. That's a red flag. Like, I, that's something I would never do. So he was just like, whatever, Shantae, whatever, do you. That's what you was going to do anyway, y'all. And I tell you, one thing about Tauruses, Tauruses, 
They be on one, and I be trying not to be around one when they on one. Oh, you lame, you lame, oh, you, you. Then he talking about, oh, you, you had sex with that nigga, da, 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 da. Like, I'm like, ooh, ooh, not you. Your little feelings hurt a little bit because you taking it a little too far. Like, I understood where you was coming from because it's just like, bro, you could have kept it real with me and say, oh, I'm going up there with my ex for his birthday or oh, whatever. Oh, I'm going up there to figure X, Y, and Z out with my ex. Da, 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 da. You could have said that. Cool, get that. But now you, you, you ODing. Like, you, 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 you ODing. I don't know. He just went off, y'all. He went off. We ended up, like, months and months and months down the line. We ended up getting cool. Something I can say about Lucas, if it goes to the point where I don't have nothing, I can't stand on nothing, I ain't got nothing to stand on, I know I can call him. Like, me and Lucas, when I tell y'all, we, we... I think that's really why he was more so hurt because we like our bond i ain't gonna cap that bond is something strong baby it's it's bond like it's a bond but it's not like like it's a respectful bond like if i get married tomorrow it's a respect i'm never gonna talk to him again but he gonna always wish me luck if he end up getting married tomorrow i'm gonna always wish him luck it's always gonna be love there but i'll never talk to him again because we had that connection and we know baby we step foot in the same room, that chemistry gonna be so bad, baby. It's gonna be a, a chemical reaction up in there. So we just stay away from each other. Cause y'all, I it was just crazy to me because I'm just like, and I went to yelling at my brother. I'm like, bro, why would you not log out your Instagram before you go give it out your phone? Real like, be for real. He's like, cause I don't got nothing to hide from my home. But I'm just like, still, you done got be caught dealing around. Like, not just bad feelings hurt because of you. It's I said it's really your fault. It ain't really me. Cause he wouldn't have seen it. And we wouldn't be here today had he not did. I feel bad. I do feel bad. I apologize though, cause I did feel bad. Cause it's kind of like, okay, you're right. I should have told you. Like, I should have been a little more upfront, but it's not like I did not tell you anything that was going on. But that's the story time on how I got caught up on my own close friends through my brother, who I still to this day blame about this story in the first place because he shouldn't have gave his phone up without logging out his Instagram. Period. But if that has ever happened to you, now this story I know have have, have happened to a lot of y'all. So y'all need to leave a comment down below and stop being so selfish trying to hold back all them story times because I know y'all done did some stuff below. So make sure you comment down below. Most importantly, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and make sure your post notifications on so your phone can beat buzz. Probably do whatever it does when your girl posts another video. I love you guys and I will see you on the next story time.